Hello there everybody and welcome back to my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode Season 2 Round 15 the Singapore Grand Prix and man this circuit is so challenging in the wet as you can see me there just struggling to not drift it out of turn 1 man that was a skid and a half it's my first visit to Singapore obviously I didn't do it in Season 1 because I did a shortened season but this circuit is such a challenge to drive, and I enjoy that challenge. So it's good to be doing the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm now trying to set a lap in qualifying, and it's proving difficult because of how slippery it is, and I'm having to go as quickly as I can, but at the same time, not crash it. And that is proving a challenge, and I nearly hit the wall there. I thought I was skidding straight into the scene of the accident there. But um, fortunately, I was able to keep it out the barrier. You can see just how much I'm struggling for grip. Street circuits in the wet are often a challenge of their own. You can see there, I've just gone down the escape road because I missed my braking spot. And rather than have a crash into the wall, I elected to go straight through the middle. Second time round then, I'm on a better lap and hopefully... This will be a lap that puts me into the top 10. It, it does not. So we are only ahead of Ocon. But we managed to set another lap later on. That does get us out of Q2. So we're now into Q3. And it's much drier conditions in Q3. Although we do have a car in the way there. And I'm hoping. Hoping that's not going to affect my qualifying lap. Who is that? Who is that in front of me there? I can't really see who it is, but we're coming up to complete the lap. It's a purple first sector, personal best for the second, and the lap time eventually puts us fourth. So we are P4 at the moment. Where do we end up after qualifying? That is a matter altogether, and I think I think it said six. We've I'm not entirely finished. sure. It's no, we ended up ninth. So we start the Singapore Bottas, Grand Prix from P9. Perez. Here we go then. It's Formula One in Marina Bay once again. And welcome to all of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot, horribly humid, but very beautiful streets of Singapore. The Marina Bay Street Circuit then has 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, taking us a total of 3.1 miles around the landmarks of downtown Singapore. An average lap speed around here, just 107 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid. But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo, and Leclerc, Joker, Gasly, Norris, and Lance Stroll, Vettel, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Massa, They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Nikita Mazepin. Sonoda, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ocon, Markelov, and Max Verstappen completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Right then, the ultimate test of a driver's endurance. We move up to P7 on the grid due to grid penalties in front of us. It is lights out and away we go here. We've got a good start there straight away. Dragging Leclerc off the line, but Gasly's got a superb start there. 
Round the outside of Gasly I go, and I'm going to try and take Ricardo for good measure as well. We have taken Ricardo for good measure. So we are up two places off that first corner up into P5. That is a critical good start here at Singapore. And now I'm going to try and tuck into signs and maybe have a look. But he's got the talk on me. He's got the run down towards the next corner. So signs getting a bit away from me there. As now we head into the technical part of the circuit and overtaking around these parts. Well, it just doesn't really happen unless you're feeling pretty brave or pretty silly. But it's not going to happen here. So we're going to just stay behind signs for a while. We are up into P5 though, that's a good start, it's an encouraging start, but I would like to get past Sainz and Perez as soon as humanly possible, but we're not going to be able to do that right now, and in fact we can't to end the first lap, we're still just a little bit behind Sainz and Perez, they've got a little bit away from me in the final sector, but sector 1 is where we are ridiculously strong here, so I feel like this is where we could get one of these guys for sure I don't think we could take both of them in this sector yet but I think maybe we could have a chance of signs but again he's got a good run out of there but we've got a better one we're getting ever closer using overtake this is going to be a very late lunge if we're going to try and make it signs dives out of my way and gives me all the room possible there and we move up into fourth place so we're one place away from the podium. Perez seemingly struggling for pace at this stage. Just doesn't seem that quick at all. And getting past him should be straightforward here. He's gone to the inside. We're going to take the racing line and break that bit later. Perez forcing me wide there. And I have nowhere to go. But across the chicane. I didn't gain an advantage there. And I don't think I saved the place by doing that. So... No harm, no foul. Right, back in the rear of Perez here. And wow, look at the run and the traction we had out of there. We got him miles before the corner, even just before we had the DRS. Look, you see it there. Using the little room he gave me just to get through. And, and that was a very straightforward overtake there. Up into P3. But I don't want to get carried away yet because we've still got the two Mercedes in front of us who are actually pulling away from me at this stage. I think the two Mercedes are just that bit too quick to catch at the moment. But we are running a two-stop strategy, so hopefully hopefully that will help us catch up. Well, depending on whatever strategy they're running, of course. And you can see here Perez is causing a bit of a traffic jam behind him. You've got Sainz, the McLaren, and what I believe is Gasly and the other McLaren as well. So, they're all just queuing behind Perez. And that's enabling us to pull away and pull out that gap just a little bit. Which is just as well because we are running long in this first stint. So, the more we can get ahead of Perez and the queue behind him, the better it will be for us. Because, like I said, we're running long and I'm starting to push that a little bit harder to try and keep up with the Mercedes pace. Because round here the Mercedes so far are demonstrating that they are super quick and currently sat in P3 that's not good enough for me so I'm trying to find that bit more pace but anyway we're making our first pit stop at the end of lap 12 beginning of lap 13 that's a very straightforward pit stop and that should see us to just behind our teammate but Guan Yu Zhou has got through as well for good measure so Hopefully, though, he'll pit soon and we won't have to deal with traffic. Or if we do get right behind him, he'll be a straightforward overtake. And in fact, we don't even get close to him until the end of the second sector, beginning of the third. And by this point, by this point, as long as we can get the move done relatively quickly. Oh, that was a bit squirrely out of there. But if we get the move done relatively quickly, we're fine. And Guan Yu Zhou is actually pitted there and I'm not sure if we got the bonus of the DRS because we nearly lost it out of the out of that corner but um yeah now we move back into what is effectively third position so battle resumes even though we're like fifth I'm pushing hard to try and catch the two mercs because I do believe they are being held up 
And this is a great opportunity for me to try and catch up to them by pushing as hard as I can. Because I think they are currently in a queue behind. Well, I'm not sure if it's Perez. But it's Leclerc. It is Leclerc who is, I think has been passed by Bottas. And I don't know when Leclerc's intending to pit, but Hamilton's being held up by Leclerc at the moment. And that is really helping me. We've just had a fastest lap of the race. This just shows I am meaning business now. And in fact, Hamilton, by the time we catch him, hasn't got past Leclerc. We're going to go down the inside there. And that Brilliant. is a nice very move. late breaking move that rarely works, but we made that one work. Stunning overtake there, using the Massa overtake of what I think was Senna. And if you can pull that move off, usually that's a stunning overtake. And that's exactly what we did. Right, next up is Charles Leclerc, who I believe is one stopping. And Bottas has got past Perez, unfortunately, for us. But around the outside of Leclerc we go, and that is the move done. Right, now I need to set after... Perez and Bottas and in fact Bottas is not too far in front of us so we haven't so while he's been held up we have gained a couple of seconds on him but I don't think we've gained enough and now Perez is about to come in on tyres that I presume are well past their use by date because he has been on them for 19 laps so at that point he would be causing a bit of a traffic jam right we're in for our second stop now and I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of an undercut here on maybe Lewis Hamilton. And we're now rejoin in P5. Um, we're on the soft tyres now, the super quick tyres. I don't know if Hamilton's actually... So Bottas has pitted again and he's gone to soft. But actually thinking about it, I think Lewis Hamilton might be on the hard tyres. Which would mean he does not intend to pit again. So once again... We have it all to do from the position we're in. We've got to catch Norris and Perez just to get back on the podium. I think Bottas has got them both. Uh, meanwhile, we're watching Pierre Gasly having an engine failure. I believe that's Pierre Gasly anyway. Having an engine failure. Yes, it is. So Gasly is out of the race. And the safety car has come out. Well, that could change everything entirely. I tell you what, that definitely helps us because now we're running on the soft tyres and if Lewis is running on hards, well, that does not nothing for Lewis at all. Right, who's that that's out of the race? I believe that's Nicholas Latifi. But back in the action, here we go. The safety car comes in. We've got a three-lap sprint to the finish and the first thing I want to do is dive bomb the inside of Perez. We've done that. We've moved up into third place. Now we've got the two Mercs. Lewis leading on hards. Bottas second on softs and we need to get between them as quickly as possible because if Bottas does get ahead of Lewis quickly we're not going to see him again for the rest of the race so it's critical that we do it now if we want to get a second win in a row that we get past Bottas while he's being held up by Lewis luckily Bottas not able to get past at the end of the first sector and this is where I'm starting to think can we set up that move again and I'm thinking, yes, we can. Right, I'm going to have a look down the inside. I'm going to break very late, but Bottas turning in there and rubbing on me there. Oh, a secondary bit of contact coming out of the corner. Another bit of contact there, and I think that's going to do damage to Bottas there. I gave him room a sweep round the outside, and that is second place. I mean, I gave Bottas room, but then he rammed me down the straight a third time, and I think that's the time that did him damage. So, I can't say fairer than that, really. Right, now on to Hamilton for the race lead. We're going to dive to the round, round the outside. We're going to sweep round Hamilton and take the lead of the Singapore Grand Prix. In what is a stunning move. Lewis goes to cover the inside. I just say, okay, I'm going to sweep round the outside of you. And that is exactly what I did. Round the outside, no fuss. Job done. See you later. And in fact, that's where we stayed for this race. Wow, I did not think at any part of this race, up until the safety car came out, that we'd have had a chance of winning it. Our strategy just really worked out. The fact that we were on the soft tyres at the end really worked out. The fact that we were able to get past Perez really quickly worked out. 
getting past Bottas. And again, I will argue this, I left him space. He then went into me on the straight, so I don't know. Like I feel like a racing incident there that's done him damage. Then we got past Lewis Hamilton on the penultimate lap. And here we are, 31 laps later, winning the Singapore Grand Prix. A third win of the season, a second win in a row. Come on! Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. What a great race it's been then. Another classic Singapore Grand Prix, and they've held on to take the chequered flag here today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive, and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. I am elated with that. It's like what they say about buses. You wait for ages and then two come along. That's how we had with wins. We waited for ages after the first win we got for a second win. And then we get two at so wins number two and three in a row there. So a, two, a double win. I will absolutely take that. Ahead. Hamilton gets second. Perez gets third. Then it's Leclerc, today, Sainz, Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Master in ninth, and Italian Jesus rounding out the ten. So a good drive by the Alpine driver there. Let's move on to the constructors. And if we look to the standings now, I do believe that we have jumped Bottas for P2 in the drivers' championship and I am fully intending to hold on to that because I'm just speechless like to get a second win in a row there and we increase our stranglehold of second in the constructors championship I cannot complain too much about how this race went at all in fact I am overjoyed but there are still a handful of races to go can we hold on to that second in the championship well, I'm going to leave you with the highlights reel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until the next time, I've been Joe. Look after yourselves. TTFN, guys. It's half an hour.